almost live from Stockholm. It's a beautiful day here. Um, and as some of you know, I have been traveling over Scandinavia uh, for the past couple weeks, and it's really made me think about the pros and cons of specifically Sweden versus America. Um, and I wanted to share some of what I have discovered with you. Um, so let's start with Sweden. Universal health care, that's a big deal. Now we're getting getting there with Obamacare, we're just not quite there yet in the same way that they are here and it's pretty awesome. So that's number one. Um, number two, maternity paternity leave. Um, you get one year as a mother and father or mother and mother or father and father of a child. The first year of that child's life you get to spend with them with paid leave. Amazing, point for Sweden. Um, number three, prawns, like the little shrimp. Way better, here. way better. Uh, okay, so America, um, these are the things I've come up with. Uh, number one, more variety. It's uh, very culturally diverse, racially diverse. Um, it's obviously a much larger country, so you have awesome cities uh, that you can travel to and just generally have a, a more diverse experience, right? So that's wonderful. Uh, number two, Breakfast. Breakfast in the States is uh, way better. Okay. There are eggs, there's French toast, there's pancakes, uh, mimosas, you name it, we've got it. Uh, here you basically have um, bread, cheese, granola, maybe, maybe if you're lucky. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So that's not great. Um, and then three. Swedish winters. There is two to six hours of sunlight per day in the winter in Sweden, which is um, nothing short of depressing in my opinion. So um, unless you live in Alaska, sorry Alaska, uh, US, we, we got Sweden beat on that. So there you go. Oh, and the, but the thing that we both have, gay marriage! Yay! Sweden and America, gay marriage! Woo! So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a draw. Till next time.